Good afternoon. Welcome to the Catholic community of St. Brendan. Today we're celebrating the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Tim, and the special attention, intention of this Mass is for Patrick Guida. This week we celebrate the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. May the love and community of God teach us to live and be community in the world today. We extend a warm welcome to our parishioners and visitors. We ask that you kindly do not remove your mask when you come for communion and consume the host at the side of the celebrant or Eucharistic minister. This will protect you and the EM. If you inter inadvertently forget your mask, please ask one of the ushers for one. This week, Sister Rosamunda of the Congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Kilimanjaro will speak to us about her work, the work in her congregation does to help disadvantaged children. There are offering envelopes at the entrance door to the church to help the sisters continue their much needed help. Please make your check payable to St. Brendan Church. Thank you for your kindness and generosity. The 40 Days of Life Clearwater op opening ceremony will be held at St. Catherine of Siena's Resurrection Hall on Sunday, September 20th at 12.30 p.m. For further information, please see the flyer posted at the entrance doors and in the in outdoor glass enclosures. For the benefit of everyone, we ask that you turn off your cell phone or other electronic device. Please stand now as we begin our celebration. There's a whiteness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. members in the sorrows of the Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, it's nice to see a good number of people here this evening with the rain and all of that. It's good to see everyone. And let us continue our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And so as we come together as a community of faith, let us pause now to prepare our hearts and our minds as we first humbly call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness and grace. Just forgive your neighbor and your sins will be pardoned. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Be the Lord's faithful servants. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. When our Lord must judge, compassion is official if we can follow suit. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, the mighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the Lord right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth. Peace to people. For you alone, the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, the Father. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in details. Forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity between aside Remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbors. Remember the Most High's covenant, and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is come.
kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Slow to anger, rich in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, all my being. Bless God's name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not all God's blessings. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Slow to anger, rich in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, full of kindness. God is good to all creation, full of compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, rich in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. As Father has true compassion for little children filled with wonder knowing not we're dust and ashes formed by heaven's knowledge the lord is kind and merciful the lord is kind and merciful in kindness the Lord is kind and merciful the goodness of God is from age to age blessing those who choose to love and justice toward God's children on all who keep the covenant the Lord is kind and merciful the Lord is kind and merciful slow to anger rich in kindness the Lord is kind A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us live for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, the debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, you for I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. So good news, after two and a half months straight, you're going to get a break from having to listen to me. So, no, this weekend we have, um, you know, every year, you know, we have our mission cooperative appeal, and this year, Sister Rosamunda Masawi uh, will be speaking on behalf of the Sisters of Our Lady of Kilimanjaro, and it's, I guess they're in Tanzania, is that correct? And... Um, and their work with uh, their various missions that they do there in East Africa. Um, I have a special place for the missions because we have in the diocese both the missions that are outside of the diocese as well as the missions inside of the diocese. For seven years, I did the mission cooperative appeal on behalf of a mission inside of the diocese because I was at a mission parish for seven years. And so my job was to go out and do this uh, for maybe three or four parishes every year going out and asking for financial help for the sake of the inner city mission that I did for seven years. So it was a great blessing. So I want to uh, welcome Sister Rosamunda here as she'll speak on behalf of the missions uh, that their religious order does. Good afternoon. My name is Sister Rosamunda Masawe, a member of the Sisters of Our Lady of Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, East Africa. We are a religious order of 879 professed nuns that runs multiple orphanages and schools 
covering from pre-K all the way to vocational training colleges. Many of you probably know or have heard of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa and the highest freestanding mountain in the world, second to Mount Everest. Mount Kilimanjaro is an international hiking destination. It is at the foot of this mountain our mother house is located. Statistically, children's life is close to death in many parts of Africa. One in nine African children will die before the age of five. One in three will die for, of starvation or sickness before they reach 21. Our order has willingly and joyfully assumed the responsibility to care for poor children in general and for orphans in particular. The children we raise include those from economically poor families, handicapped, deformed, orphans, and albinos. Children in these categories have turned our orphanages and schools into their permanent home where they stay until they graduate and stand by themselves. Some orphans live with their grandparents, but the grandparents cannot even take care of themselves, so the sisters must provide them food, medical care, and the other necessities of life. These children, like all of us here, need basic needs like food, water, shelter, and clothing to live a healthy and decent life. They also need family and education to grow and develop to become responsible citizens of Tanzania and of the kingdom of God. They therefore take our sisters as their parents in place of their biological parents who have either abandoned them or have died due to pandemics. People in Kilimanjaro region are very industrious. They work very hard to produce something for their economic well-being. So for some of them to raise a handicapped child they sometimes feel like it is a useless burden because he or she will produce nothing for the benefit of society. As for albinos, some are considered as your cars in the family. Therefore, such children are sometimes left alone and our sisters go out and bring them over to our facilities and raise them. My sisters and I see these children as God's precious gift, and we love them unconditionally. Our order now runs two orphanages and 12 boarding schools, mostly for such children, now numbering about 13,700. However, our facilities are not without challenges. Every often, we experience water shortages for our students. Our hope is to have a sustainable source of clean water by drilling boreholes or installing a system that collects or and stores rainwater in times of unpredictable shortages. Additionally, our schools need books, medical and school supplies, and the other necessities such as food and clothing. Electricity shortages are also very frequent due to unpredictable and unannounced cuts. While the number of children keeps growing, space in our schools and orphanages remain the same. Hence, there is a great need for the expansion to have bigger buildings. The children's main diet consists of cornmeal, beans, and vegetables 
mostly grown in our school, gardens, and farms. On Sundays, we serve them with rice and meat, which they consider as a special treat. I'm sure your children would be very confused if you tried to serve them rice for dessert. But to many of our poor orphans, rice and meat is like ice cream. Each student's simple meal costs about two US dollars. Although our tables and beds are crowded, we will never close our doors to the least among us because we are their family. Today, I address you who, as parents who also must provide for your children with the necessities of life, such as food, water, education, electricity, and shelter. We are asking you to help us in our efforts to sustain the poor children whom, whose parental responsibility we have assumed in place of their biological parents. As a religious order, we strive to meet the children's physical, educational, and spiritual needs. Therefore, our request to you include not only the expansion of buildings, but also the comprehensive evangelization of Tanzanians to form strong Catholic children in our church. Our schools and orphanages are the stepping stones for each child's career or road to higher education and heaven. Most of our graduates give back to the schools and orphanages they have attended. Such former students are, in fact, our local benefactors or donors. One such graduate is Madeline, who was abandoned on the doorsteps of our mother house as a baby of three days. Our sisters took her, raised her, and educated her all the way to college. Madeline is now a medical doctor who gives free medical services to the children in one of our orphanage on the, base, on the regular basis. She is but one story. There are, a, there are quite several such success stories with our graduates. Let me conclude by thanking first God who unites us here as his one family. I want to thank the Diocese of St. Petersburg for giving us this opportunity to share our story with two parishes and to be our sustainable partners, and you are one of them. We thank your pastor, Father Tim, and especially you parishioners of St. Brendan for giving us a sympathetic ear to our story. We hope you will give our request a prayerful thought and generously come to, uh, to our aid by becoming an integral part of our mission. We will appreciate any donation, small or large, to support the lives and education of our poor children. Every dollar you give has a direct impact in child's life. Jesus reminds us that whoever gives only a cup of cold water to these little ones, he will surely not lose his reward. Matthew 10, 42. Through you, our brothers and sisters in Christ, we hope to continue ministering God's poorest among us. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, sister.
And just to note that we have uh, envelopes at the doors, so when you leave today, please remember to take one of those envelopes and you can bring it back next week if you'd like, or you can send it in, um, whatever you would like to give on behalf of their mission. So let us stand now as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son and Son of God, in the Father before all ages, God to God, light to light, true God and true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And he rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He is ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and Lord of God, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church, who confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead. The Lord is kind and merciful, and we offer our petitions to God, seeking a response of kindness and mercy. For all of God's creation that has been ripped away or destroyed by fire, hurricane, and earthquake, that the natural beauty of the earth will be restored in time, we pray to the Lord. For our grandparents, living and deceased, in thanksgiving for all the blessings we have received from them and for the prominent role they have played in many of our lives, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Patrick Guida, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick, especially Dan Straka, that they may find the healing comfort of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially Dick Shepherd, that they may rejoice at the eternal banquet, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, a sinful people turn to you as the ultimate source of justice and mercy. Hear our cries and listen to the prayers that we make, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. And our first shall be last, and our eyes are open, and we'll hear like never before. And we'll speak in new ways, and we'll see God's face in places we've never known. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love. 
pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. 
in a special way. We remember Patrick Guida in this Mass and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Brendan, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Together now, let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not temptation, but the Lord Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other now a sign of peace. Omnos to say you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On your stay, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am a worthy that you should enter into my room, that I may say the word of my soul.
that sets the captive free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat, this is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink, this is my blood given An act up of spiritual for communion. You. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Loving and forgiving are you in joy, sharing in wonder, prayer that we sing to you. With this bread we will walk with each other, with this cup we will follow the Lord. Compassion, love overflowing, God's love ever knowing. We share it in our song.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to also recognize Sister Kathleen. Sister Kathleen, right? Yeah. For, uh, it's always a treat to have her come and play the cello for us, and so thank you for being here this, this, this afternoon. And, and again, thank you, Sister Rosamunda, for your words. And a reminder, everyone, if, uh, if you just want to write a check, remember to, to put the check in the name of St. Brendan's, and then in the memo, put uh, Mission Cooperative Appeal. So it has to be in the name of the parish. Um, but to let us know that you want it for the mission. But don't forget the church, too. You know, we've got, we, we got our own little mission here as well. So, uh, so please remember our little mission here as well. So anyway, so God bless you all. Thank you for being here this evening. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice evening, everyone. Take care. The King of Love, my shepherd, is whose goodness fails me never. If I am his, and he is mine forever, where streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he's leading, and Grow with full